Hey there. So I really wasn't planning to put out two dedicated videos this week, at least not initially, and especially not after I had already put out an RTX 4080 performance analysis video that also went into what I think you should all expect out of RX 7900 XTX ray tracing performance based on publicly available info that AMD put out this week. I thought that video turned out great. If you haven't watched it, make sure you don't miss it if you're interested in that upcoming RDNA 3 product release. But so then, yeah, all I really planned to do for the rest of the week was prepare for the next Broken Silicon episode and do what I always do after a new product comes out. Call up people at various distribution centers, retailers, and brick and mortar stores and go, hey, how many of these graphics cards did you get in? And how many people bought them? How is this selling relative to other launches? And I decided that instead of holding that data for the next Broken Silicon, it really deserved to have its own piece of content released early today because, well, guys, the RTX 4080 is selling bad. Like, really bad. Like, worse than any other product, relatively speaking, at least, that I can think of to mention, especially when it comes to graphics cards and even CPUs like the R5 7600X that everyone seems to keep making fun of for costing too much. That thing regularly appears in the best-selling CPUs list. Not near the top, but it's there, and it's always moving units. I cannot say the same of the RTX 4080 when I look at the Newegg or Amazon bestsellers. In fact, when I look around, it seems like third-party pseudo-scalped RTX 4090s at elevated pricing are outselling the regular RTX 4080s. And I really wish I would have paid more attention to the first 24 hours with the sales data on Newegg and Amazon before it got refreshed because... Now, I, I really wish you could see exactly how close it got to the best-selling graphics card, because the 4090 got up there. But even though I missed that a little bit, what I can do is look at the Micro Center stock, or at least what's in stock. And when I check the three Micro Centers I've actually shopped at in the past, yeah, one in Minneapolis, one in Detroit, and one in Chicago, they all still have the RTX 4080 in stock. And then... One source really came through for me today and looked at the stock levels of various AIB RTX 4080 models across all of their locations in the country. And this person told me that not one location is out of stock on the 4080 at the end of the week. Not even just on launch day, at the end of the week. Not one. Not one location is out of stock. And in fact, the 4080 is selling so below expectations that... Some locations gain stock on day one. Now, you might be wondering, how is that even possible? Well, when a high-end product like a 4080 or 4090 releases, typically they have, from what it seems like, some brick-and-mortar stores of, like, I don't know, 50 to 75% of the stock they're going to have on day one ready in the morning. And then sometime in the afternoon, another sh set of shipments comes and tries to, like, you know, bolster their stock before the end of the day. So that means throughout an entire day's worth of sales, some electronic stores failed to sell more 4080s than their micro restock supplied them before the end of the day. That's how badly the 4080 is selling. And indeed, if you look around online, you can see plenty of people sharing pictures of piles of 4080s still in stock when stores are closing. And I've received some pictures from a few contacts. Uh, one of them I was okay to share. And yeah, I mean, just cabinets full of these things and nobody really wants them. But I don't just have that one quote. I don't just have that one picture. I've actually got a lot of testimonials from various retailers that I think paint a pretty clear picture of why the 4080 is not selling well and just how badly it is actually selling relative to other high end launches in the past in the past decade. And I want to share all of those things with you and also talk about why I think we're finally seen a horribly priced product sell badly when we just hadn't seen that in recent memory but first an ad from a sponsor this halloween reesey dressed up as the big bad wolf pretending to be little red riding hood's grandma which to be honest she actually had mixed thoughts on how much she liked wearing a costume but you know this got me thinking only grandmas using hotmail should be overpaying for windows keys anymore there's just no reason to put up with microsoft's monopolistic 
pricing as long as you can go to cdkeyoffer.com and their Black Friday 2022 sales event. If you want reasonably priced, non-monopolistic Microsoft keys, whether it's for Windows 10, which is easy to get a reasonably priced key from them, go to Microsoft's website and simply download Windows 10, which you can upgrade for free to Windows 11, by the way. Or if you just want to make it easier and just get Windows 11 directly or get Microsoft Office 2021 Professional, you should do all of this at cdkeyoffer.com. And if you do, make sure you use the offer code BROKENSILICON for 25% off Windows keys, Moore's Law for 10% off keyboards and mice, and Dyshing for 3% off everything else. cdkeyoffer.com is a long-term sponsor of Moore's Law's Dead for a reason. They keep reliably providing fair pricing on Office software and on Windows operating system. So this Black Friday season, whether you're looking for Steam, Origin Uplay, or PlayStation keys, Microsoft products, or even some gaming hardware, support Moore's Law is Dead by using offer codes Broken Silicon or Die Shrink at cdkeyoffer.com this Black Friday season. Now before I go through some more testimonials on how the RTX 4080 is selling, I really do need to stress one thing first to put all of what I'm about to show you in perspective. And I have to do this because it feels like after every high-end graphics card release, there is just a subsect of the comments section of people going, oh, it's sold out fake. Every release, no matter what it is, there is a group of people in the comments section saying it was hard to get a graphics card on release day. And to these people, I just have to tell you, I don't know if you like just got into PC gaming, but at least when it comes to high-end graphics cards in the past, Decade of releases, most graphics cards are hard to get the day they come out. As far back as I can think, right, whether it's like the GTX 1080, the RX 480, the RX 470, the GTX 680, all of these products are hard to get on release day. And that's because they're the newest gaming thing. They're hard to get. It is abnormal for anything to not sell out on day one. I mean, even Turing, which... I know people think Lovelace is the worst thing ever, but trust me, people were, as far as I can remember at least, more angry at Turing's price performance than they are at Lovelace and lambasted it. And yet, you couldn't get a 2080 Ti easily in month one. That is not what I am seeing from the people I've talked to about the RTX 4080 sales. This is an abnormally bad release. If I put these quotes on screen now, just to put the, after I put all that in perspective, one of my sources told me at a brick-and-mortar store in the United States that they had 150 RTX 4090s at that specific location. They all sold out by the end of the day. And then they got around 90 4080s for launch day this week. So that's almost half as many. And yet as of Friday evening, they still have not sold through half of them. And this person has directly seen people come into the store, ask for a 4090, and then get visibly mad when a sales rep suggests the 4080 as an alternative. Like they're insulted, you would even suggest they get a 4080 instead. Another source at a different location told me that by the end of October 12th, which is of course when the RTX 4090 launched, that they had received almost 200 4090s for sale. They easily sold through all of them. And that this location got about 120 4080s on launch day. And yet, not at the end of launch day, but the end of launch week, today, tonight, they still have about 80 of them left, and they've actually seen customers say that the 4080 sucks directly when someone suggests they buy one, and to just tell them when they get a 4090. Another source at a major retailer told me that they did manage to sell out their 4080s, but at least in their distribution center, the pallets of 4080s took up way less room than the pallets of 4090s. So that they're not really surprised they sold out when they seem to have very few to actually sell across the entire country. And another retailer outside the U.S. actually told me that they got about as many 4080s as the 4090s, but that they also feel like they have less 4090s than most uh, online retailers for launch. And that doesn't really matter, though. Nobody is buying the 4080. This person told me that when they look at inventory levels across their country, that they don't even think they've sold a third of their inventory by the end of the first week. And I suppose that really is the main thrust of this video just making it clear that this is abnormal that what you're seeing in 4080 sales considering as far as i can tell nvidia did ship 
maybe half as many 4080s on launch week as they ship 4090s at most actually at most half as many and yet they're still struggling to sell through them that's something really is different about this launch and something really interesting is going on here and i really did think about this for a while why is this time different you see there's been plenty of high-end graphics card launches over the past few years where i've said this thing is stupid this thing isn't worth the money this thing has bad price performance and then people just buy it off but they didn't do that with the 4080. I sat down and I went, why is this time different? I feel like this should have happened before. Why now? And I think I know why. It actually comes down to two main reasons. And the, and the first one's very straightforward. It's the 4090 came out first, had a ton of supply, and hit a level of performance that enthusiasts have probably been waiting for for a while. Don't get me wrong, 4K gaming gets easier to do with every new generation, but the 4090, not only was an above average performance increase, but it also hit a level of performance that was probably just about that threshold so many people were waiting for in 4K. Which is to say, 4K 60 isn't just easy, 4K 120 isn't just easy, but above 4K 120 is easy, even if you turn on ray tracing. 4090 finally did to 4K what I would say products like the HD 7970 and then GTX 780 Ti did to 1080p. They humiliated the standard high-end resolution to a degree that if you were waiting to get something that could play this resolution easily at a high refresh rate,